Good morning, everyone. This is Rob from Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2014 Volvo VNL 670. This Volvo features a Volvo D13 engine at 425 horsepower. It's the Eco Torque model, so it has 1750 torque. It has a I shift direct drive transmission geared at 2.64. Uh, meaning that it's going to give you excellent fuel economy and it's set up exactly for 80,000 pounds GVW. So I'll take you through the truck. I'll show you some of the features that it has, some of the things that we've done to it. And it's quite a clean truck and it's an excellent price point truck. It, it spent its entire life uh, within a fleet. It's fleet maintained and this truck is ready to go to work. It's coming safety certified, DOT certified, uh, ready for work, serviced and no check engine lights, no leaks, and it's ready to go to work. So let's have a look here and see what we've got. It's nice blue, almost a uh, little bit, little tinge of purple in it, but uh, for the most part, it's a blue, like a royal blue, I guess is what we'll call it. It's got open tanks. It's got obviously stainless steel after treatment covers. So you see the DPF cover there and the DEF cover there. Uh, both of them are stainless steel. Uh, let's go up here and have a look. I'll, um, I'm going to get the hood open on this before we go any farther and I'll just do the walk around with the hood up because you've already got a good look at the outside. Okay. Give you a good look here. So we've got excellent Goodyear Endurance LHS steering tires. They are low profile 22.5s. They got to be about 90% tread. On the front here we've got polished aluminum wheels with drum brakes. You'll have a look here and you'll see that we haven't sandblasted and painted the frame. It's actually pretty good on this one. This is your Volvo D13. We got a little bit of a melt going on here today. We had some freezing rain and snow, so it's all melting away. And you can see here that it's a, it's a clean unit. It runs good. I'll get it fired up in a minute. For now, I'll just get you to have a good overview of the truck. Uh, no accidents or anything of that nature. We've got fog lights on the bottom. Another matching Goodyear LHS in and around the same tread, probably 80% tread. This one here, as you can see, we've got overall clean. We've changed the fuel filter. We've serviced it. It looks like it's got a new belt tensioner on there and somewhat of a newer water pump. Looks like the turbo might have been changed at one point as well. Give you a good look there. Take a look on the outside. So we've got chrome mirrors. These are 150 gallon fuel tanks, dual 150, so 300 gallons of fuel. Uh, we've got brand new wheels and tires on the back. These are uh, made in China, good tread, virgin. Steel wheels on the inside, aluminum on the outside. Holland 3500 sliding fifth wheel. You can see it's got lots of life in it. You, lots of life left in it. You can see just by, by the threads left on that fifth wheel adjusting nut. Give you a good look here at the back. Okay, over here again. Uh, it looks like when we did the DOT, we put some new shocks on. I see new shocks over here. I don't see new shocks on this side. So two new shocks, two old shocks. Give you a good look there. We've got some corrosion going on on the back of the cab. It's not perforated, but I'll, I'll give you a good look at it. Frame overall, like I said, is, is clean. It's the original paint. You can see where the airlines have rubbed a little bit of bubbling on the back. It's not a new truck anymore, but it is a good price point truck and that's really what it comes down to. If you're looking for something that's a good fleet maintained truck that's ready to go to work, let me just pop this open. This could be a truck for you. Have a look in here, you've got a full pass through. I do like the Volvos, they've got that door that opens up in that direction which in my opinion is great because if it's raining you're not getting wet if you have a look in here you're going to see your bunk heater and a tow hook let's have a look on the inside here so we've got the premium interior common volvo failure the clips break and then the door doesn't open so that one's been fastened permanently uh, we've got the multi-way adjustable seat Okay, here we've got power locks, mirrors, and windows with heated mirrors as well. 
and we've got steering wheel audio and telephone controls. We got the eye shift with the shifter down by the steering or by the seat. So let's get this thing running and have a listen. Go through, and do its thing. Okay, so we've got automatic climate control, which is a nice feature. You leave it at automatic, you set the temperature where you want to, and the truck is gonna figure out the rest. So it's just cycling through 879 miles, eight, sorry, 872 miles. I'll get the idle up so you can have a good listen. Uh, we've got cross-locking differentials, you can see there, which is good. You're not gonna get stuck in the snow. This is only going to idle up to, looks like 700, which is fine. I just don't want it shutting down on me. Uh, we've got suspension. Actually, we've got a couple of auxiliary gauges here. we got oil temperature and axle temps. Okay, and have a look through here. we got oil pressure is good. Water temp, turbo boost, primary and secondary air pressures, as well as tra trailer brake application. Uh, we also have a trailer brake here as well auxiliary input for your audio and let's have a look through the cab here so we've obviously got your e-log mount there at some point have a look here we've got secure overhead storage i'll just push that out of the way for now so we've got good storage there sometimes these cabinets get all screwed up and this one's in good shape you've got more secure storage there uh, and another door that works pretty well Looks like somebody's put some Velcro on here, probably just to keep it from vibrating. It's a pretty common complaint on the Volvos is that the, the cabinets rattle. Uh, here we've got shore power plugs, receptacles. We've got secure storage here with a clothes hanger and a bracket for papers. Uh, this one has the workstation, which is folds down into a bed, which if you're familiar with Volvos, that is nice feature so that'll drop down you're gonna slide these out some people just leave the mattress on it all the time those mattresses or those pillows cushions will slide out into that position so that you can turn it into a bed or if you want to make it into a table you just do that turn off some of the lights in here this one here has the bunk heater which is down below So we've got the Webasto bunk heater and your shore power panel. So you can run the electricity through your plugs. Okay. So that's a nice tidy workstation. I do like those. And over here we've got a refrigerator. Not the biggest fridge, but it is working. I actually just turned it off. Somebody left it on. You can see there's actually ice on there. So that is uh, one complaint that they have on the Kenworth, they don't have on the Volvo as a switch for the refrigerator. We've also got a little drawer here where we can put a writing table if you want to call it that, although you've got the workstation, so it's kind of redundant. And there you have it. It's not perfect, you know, you see a couple little things like that's coming down and, you know, um, we can see a little bit of uh, imperfections on the truck but at the end, it's a good price point. Well-maintained fleet truck. So let's go out and have a listen to this thing run, and then I'll let you be the judge. Take the oil filler cap off. We'll see how much uh, puffing or smoke blow by is coming out of there, and then 
we'll make a determination how much life is left in that engine. If there's nothing, then we're in good shape. So let's have a look. another couple of years worth of life left in that engine before it's going to need an overhaul and that's important if you're looking at a truck with higher mileage to determine what kind of health that engine is in. Have a look here we've got a 425 horsepower eco torque. Uh, where do we go with our axle ratio? 2.64. Um, I will put down the RPMs. Uh, I'll figure out what the RPMs are and put it down on our uh, on the on the advertisement so that you can figure out what the RPMs are at say 70 miles an hour and then we got a 40,000 pound rear axle and there you have it so I'm gonna shut this down and I'll just say a couple of things if you happen to be watching this video and you're in the US no problem we deliver to Buffalo uh, the price that you see on the advertisement includes delivery to Buffalo. We're a registered importer with U.S. Customs. We bring the truck in for you. We give you all the paperwork you need to flip over the title and there's no extra taxes, duties, or fees on the truck. So if you have any questions about this truck or any other truck that I have for sale, you can feel free to call me at 844-489-8789 or you can call my cell phone 289-259-6054. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.